Today we're going to be looking at how you can transform the look of your kitchen cupboards by adding some light strips. Um, five meter light strips from Amazon. We're going to turn the kitchen cupboard from this into something like this. Color changing LEDs. Um, we'll also need a Wi-Fi controller in order to be able to do this. So let's get started. I ordered these from Amazon. They work out about £18 each. We've got the LED light minger strip for 5 meters. And we've also got a Wi-Fi smart RGB LED controller. Now for this, I personally am going to need three of these. These are three 5 meter strips. So I've got three covers to do. Um, I thought we'd have a quick look and see what's in the box first of all. So what's in the box? We have the instructions, which we're not going to need. We have the remote control, which we're not going to need. We have the infrared controller, which today we're not going to need. And at the moment, we're not going to need any of the adhesive strips, which allows us to stick them into position. All we're going to need from the box is the LED strip and, of course, the power adapter. Here is the Wi-Fi controller we talked about earlier. As you can see, we have the connection for the power adapter. We also have the infrared receiver, so we can still use the old style remote control as well as the Wi-Fi. And of course, that all just connects together nicely onto the LED. As we give it some power, as you can see, the LED strips will flash or change colour. This shows that they are working and ready to set up. Next, I've marked five centimetres from the back of the kitchen cupboards, just to give me A, a straight line, and B, I didn't want to put them too close to the wall, otherwise it would smother any uh, lighting effect we can see. Next, we need to fully unravel the LED strip so that we can have easy access to the connections and we can start to peel back the adhesive strip ready to stick. Luckily for me, I had a plinth on the left hand side of the uh, kitchen cupboard and that allowed me to just simply drop some of the cable down uh, behind it and so I could continue, keep a continual loop as we drop down the bottom and across the side. So as you can see from the LED strip, every couple of LEDs, looks like every three LEDs in this case, there is a little point, you can even see a pair of scissors where you can actually snip these up so you can cut off the end so obviously any waste could be used in the future uh, but obviously we're not going to need it today so we simply snip that off and we can continue to finish sticking that to the cupboards. Next we need to give it some power. Note the little arrow next to the GRB, the green, red and blue. We need to make sure that that matches up along with the arrow that is also on the end of the LED strip. Just another point to add, I also position the infrared receiver just on the side of the cupboards. This allows me to continue to use the remote as normal if I didn't want to control it by Wi-Fi. And then we plug it in. Once you plug in the power, you'll notice all the LEDs start to flash. It's at this point we need to download the Magic Home app And once in the Magic Home app, we can actually see the little plus sign in the top right hand corner. And this will then allow us to add any new LED strips. As you see, click on the plus sign in the top corner and add device. This will then start to look for your controller. As you can see, we've now found it there. LED Net F57B02. We simply click on that. This will then connect 
the LED strip to our Wi-Fi. You can see my Wi-Fi there, so we click on that, type in your password, and hit confirm. This will then continue to connect the device to the Wi-Fi. Can take a few seconds. Uh, so at this point, we can then give it a name. Mine's already picked up that I've had this uh, device previously registered before. Where you'd simply click on here, and you can obviously type in the name of your device and hit done. Once you've um, obviously done this, you can then hop into Alexa as well, and this will also scan for new devices, and it will also find them um, under the name that you've, you've given them. Okay, we can see now that that's been added. So you can now click on uh, the color wheel. You can change the color to of your choice. And we can also adjust the brightness as we wish. You can also set up scenes. Simply click on the scenes. A little plus sign at the top. You can then add a scene and give it a name. For the purpose of this, I'll call it kitchen cupboards. Once in kitchen cupboards, we can then hit the plus sign down the bottom right. This will allow us to go in to add the different names that we've already given to the devices. So I've got kitchen cupboards, I've added kitchen one, two and three there. And now we're gonna go in, you can simply go in to click on RGB, that will allow you to select the color that you want in your scene. And you can do this for each of the three LED strips that I've set up today. And there we go, those scenes will also be searched for in the Alexa app. Going back to the reason why I left the infrared down the side, as you can see just on the top of your screen there, it allows me to use the little remote control that comes with the Wi-Fi controller to control them manually. So if I just wanted to turn them on and off at random, then obviously I can do that. Uh, there's many other features. You can scroll through each color nice and slowly. You can have them change color to music. There are many, many options within the app um, and plenty to play with. There we have it.